We're going to talk now about C uh, language data types and sizes of those data types. C doesn't have really that many data types. They're pretty simple. There's a character, which generally is one byte long, and it is designed to contain one printable character. There's an integer, which usually is two bytes long, and that holds one whole number with no remainder. A floating point, or a float, is generally four bytes of storage and will contain one floating point number. A double takes eight bytes of storage, but it still only holds one floating point number. That number just has much greater precision. You can be much more precise. That's usually used for uh, higher math, uh, graphics, computational things like that, not uh, dollars and cents or, or anything uh, along that line. Uh, there's also uh, modifiers of short and long, which will change the number of bytes used for storage and the minimum and maximum values. But the short and long work on the uh, integer and uh, makes a, a short int and a long int. And then there is such a thing as a long double as well. Here's a little chart to give you an idea in the Microsoft C compiler and its implementation on uh, traditional non 64 bit architecture of what uh, we have for storage. So there's a character, a char, 8 bits long. And since it is signed by default in the Microsoft compiler, and that is dependent on your machine, whether that standard character will be signed or unsigned, in our case it is, un it is signed, it will go from a maximum negative value of negative 128 up to 127. An unsigned character, of course, cannot be negative. It still takes 8 bits of storage, and it goes from 0 to 255, all 8 bits set on. An integer is 32 bits, and there you see the negative and uh, large negative number and large positive number. I'm not going to bother to try to read that number off to you. Uh, we only have so much time. There's an unsigned integer of 32 bits, and of course being unsigned, no negatives. 0 to 4 billion and change. There's the short for 16 bits and the unsigned short for 16 bits, and you can see their values, uh, minimum, maximum. Long, so 32 bits, and remember that is a long int, so it can't hold to anything but a whole number, and an unsigned long, and then we have our floating points and our doubles, which uh, gives you an idea of just how large a number uh, can be stored in each of those, in floats and doubles. So that's uh, all there is to it. C does not have a lot of uh, tough types to have to deal with, but you have these these basic types, which you can then build into all sorts of other kinds of storage uh, options, other kinds of, of variables that will be usually more than sufficient for what you need to do. Remember, some of the greatest operating systems were written with this language. So it is simple, it is low level, but it is quite powerful. So we're going to move on and take a look at uh, some other kinds of variables and constants and a lot of other things in our as we continue with our types, operators, and expressions.